when you want to create a watch list of stocks, that's a list of stocks you put together really for any reason you want, click the new button and choose personal watch list. First you're asked to name it and then click OK. Now you have a blank watch list window. Click the symbol button at the top and simply start typing symbols you want to add. Once the symbol's in place, hit the enter key. If you don't know the symbol, you could start typing the name of the company. When you see it, hit the enter key. So you can simply type as many symbols as you want and they're added immediately to your watch list. Once you have all the symbols you want in the watch list, you can find that watch list by clicking the watch list drop down and choose the personal tab. Any watch list you create, you'll find in your personal watch list library. Click on the name and that now becomes your active watch list in your layout. You can also create a new personal watch list from stocks within an existing watch list. So for instance, I can click on a symbol and then holding the control key down, pick random symbols from a watch list that I want to use to build a personal watch list. Simply right click on one of the highlighted stocks. You can see where it says in this case copy six symbols to, because I have six symbols highlighted. And at the top of this list you'll see new personal watch list. Click on it, give it a name, and click OK. Now those six symbols are part of my watch list. If I click on a symbol, go down to another symbol, but hold the shift key down, I can highlight all of the symbols in between at one time. Right click and then copy symbols to, and I could either create a new personal watch list or add it to an existing watch list. Now I select from my watch list drop down the personal tab and then the new watch list that I've created. And then I can spacebar through the new watch list that I've created.